Spencer, you just beat uh, BYU's longtime arch nemesis by 18 points, 82-64. This off a loss against Boise State. Compare and contrast the feeling from immediately after the Boise State game to what you're feeling right now. It's night and day. Um, this was a huge win for us, especially as a bounce back game, because it was a heartbreaker, you know, earlier this week. So to come back and to be able to win and win by this margin is such a good feeling. How's the eye right now for you? It hurts. <laughs> Okay, are there, are there stitches coming later? Yeah, for sure. Wow, how did it happen? Walk us through what, uh, what happened on the floor. Uh, so I just got trapped right here, and then I tried to split it. I went down, and I got a knee to the face. Pretty nice. Clearly, it didn't affect your last shot because your last three went in. You, you finished with 16 points. <laughs> um, talk to us about the confidence progression that you're feeling with your shot and finding your place within this specific team. Yeah, I mean, um, the thing that the coaches always tell us is we shoot every day and we uh, shoot the same way. So it doesn't matter um, if you make it or miss it, as you shoot the same way. They have confidence in you to, to shoot the next one. And for me, that's what it's been. When you see your first shot hit the side of the backboard, what's going through your mind? Because you came down and on the right wing, on the outside floor, you take it without hesitation, knock that one down. What, what is it about that shooter's mentality? I mean, it's, my teammates just have, you know, they put me in great positions and they just have such faith in me that, you know, I missed that one, I'm coming right back and I'm gonna take the next one. That's all it is. Coach Pope has not lost back-to-back -back games in his tenure as the head coach at BYU. What makes him such a strong uh, respondent to a tough loss like that? Um, it's the preparation he puts us through really, um, you know, we, we all came really locked in and really hungry and they had a great scout prepared for us and I really think we were ready and, you know, it showed tonight we were able to do. Alex Barcelo scores five points. You win by 18. How does that happen? <laughs> he, he's such a great leader. I mean, you know, he's averaging, I think it was close to 20. Um, but tonight, they were really keying on him, so he was able to find guys that he had, what, seven, eight assists. So um, he's a really smart player and <laughs> was able to, you know, dish it to the guys, Connor and, and me. Defensively, some significant changes were made from uh, a point early in the second half to uh, basically the end of the game where BYU was really able to go on a run and, and withstand Utah's run. What changed defensively on the floor for BYU? Um, we were really locked in on their shooters. Um, and I think, you know, what helped us was we were getting stops on defense. We were getting rebounds. Um, and that was, a, that was a big key for us, what we were really focusing on. Now you push forward to San Diego State, a top 25 team. What did you learn in this game that's going to help you on the road against a really good San Diego State team? I mean, you go on the road, it's always tough to, you know, play in a new environment, a new gym. So what we really focus on is, um, stops and rebounds and you know playing with pace and finding the open guy and I think as long as we stick to our principles we'll be all right all right Spencer congratulations again 16 points for you and uh, we wish you the best and a quick uh, recovery with that eye thanks okay it's good